Thank you. Thank you so much, folks. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're so kind. You know what? The lady asked me out here tonight, coming in here this afternoon. She said, Mel Tillis, Mel Tillis, Mel Tillis. And I said, well, why is it, why is it, why is it? <laughs> and she said, how do you do it? I said, do what? <laughs> and she said, how do you, how do you write those beautiful songs that I hear you singing all beautiful the time song. on television, oh, on Donna Shore Show, Mike and others tonight show of music hall, hall of, hall of America. Well, I told her by experience. I said, now, honey, it doesn't have to be your own experience. It could be someone else's happiness or their tragedy, something that you might read it in a, in a new, in, in a magazine. <laughs> but if I may tonight, I'd like to tell all of you nice folks about an experience that I had one morning about 3 a.m. My wife, Doris, woke me up. Oh, <laughs> pay attention. And she hit me and knocked me all the way out in the middle of the floor. Hey, all, all the way out. All the way out in the middle of the, in the mid, in the, in the. She said, Merv. That's male. I mean male. Not Merv. <laughs> and I said, what is it? And she said, Melvin, who's Julie? <laughs> you talk about stuttering. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Son, I turned it off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as a matter of fact, it, as a matter of fact, it took me about, about, uh, about fifth, uh, about fifth, about an hour and a half <laughs> to tell her that it was a racehorse up in Kentucky. <laughs> but a few days after that, I came home. I said, honey, I said, have I had any messages today? And she says, yes, Melvin. She said, your racehorse called today. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Boy, I hope that never, ever happens to you nice folks. But if it ever happens to you, you might come up with some words and a melody, and you just might write your song, and it just might go like this. Cross the table over coffee just this morning. A woman called me by surprise without a warning. She said, honey, you talk in your sleep. Then she began to weep. She said, tell me now and tell me truly. But who's Julie? Oh, tell me, tell me now. With the blank look on my face, I search my mind. For an answer or excuse, of some kind but the words wouldn't come and my mind went blank slowly my head just sank and she said honey you know i love you truly but who's julie oh julie what's this hold you got on me you're on my mind and my dreams. You know you should not be there, Julie. I'd like to say Judy's just a friend of mine. But I know that would not satisfy your mind. You see, Julie gave me something that you did not she remembered what you forgot honey i'm sorry i've got to tell you so cruelly whoa mel mel you can't say that <laughs> well, what do you mean whoa mel, mel. Mel, mel. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, 
I got this little bald faced liar, tell him. How the booger man will get you a lion, the same as you will the stealer. So then. <laughs> You're right, it's a lie. Sure, it's a lie. You know it's a but, lie. But, but, what? It's a professional lie. Yeah, it's a professional lie. Yeah, it's a professional good. lie that sometimes professional entertainers will sometimes use these little stories to spice up their stuff. Uh, Even little lies to spice up, 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 up. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Politicians will sometimes use them little lies to spice up their stuff. As a matter of fact, that didn't actually happen to me. That's, right. That's a professional lie. Yes. If I hurt anyone's feelings, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to. Actually, I, I've been married for about 20 years. Doris and I have 11. 11? <laughs> Bird dogs at home. <laughs> See, that does not a little bit. But actually, Doris and I have got five children and all we I, I've got a I've got a daughter 19 I have a daughter 16 I have a daughter uh, 15 I have me a son thank the Lord I didn't think he was ever gonna get here <laughs> and then I got a, a little four-year-old surprise at home <laughs> and her name's Carrie April and now you know and don't you ever ask me again who's Julie oh. Tell me, tell me.